대부분의 사람들은 하나님을 모릅니다. And most people don't know God. 그래서 그냥 먹고 살다가 죽습니다. And that is why they just eat and live and then die. 그 중에 보고 많은 사람을 하나님은 찾고 계십니다. But among them, God is looking for those who have the gospel. 그 중에서도 어, 전도가 무엇인지 아는 사람은 많이 없습니다. And among even those, there are not many that know evangelism. 세계 보고 하나님 뜻이기 때문에. 예, 전도를 알면 여러분은 쓰임 받게 됩니다. World evangelization is God's will, and so if you know evangelism, you'll be used by God. 자, 그 중에 오늘 굉장히 중요한 열 가지 비밀 가운데 어떻게 하면 세상을 세계를 바꿀 수 있냐? Then today, among the very important ten mysteries, how can you change the world? 이 눈이 중요하죠. That these eyes are important. 요셉은 분명히 세상을 바꿨거든요. Because Joseph absolutely changed the world. 자 여기서 오늘 요셉과도 얘기를 조금 하겠는데요. 세상을 이렇게 바꾸려고 할 때는 에, 눈에 안 보이는 다른 사람 못 보는 걸 봐야 될거 아니에요. We will discuss Joseph today, but when we say the eyes that change the world, we need to be able to see the things that others cannot see. 많은 사람들이 못 보는 것을 볼수 있어야 바꿀 수 있단 말이죠. We can only change the world when we can see the things that many people cannot see. 여기서 지금 어, 외국인들 우리 다민족들도 메시지 듣고 있습니다. And I'm sure that our foreigners, our multi-ethnic groups, are listening to the message as well. 여러분 굉장히 그 어렵다고 생각할 겁니다. And you might think that it's hard. 그러나 요셉만큼 지금 어렵지 않습니다. However, it was probably not as hard as Joseph. 요셉은 노예로. And Joseph was taken as a slave, and yet he triumphed. 또 여러분 가운데 보면은 나는 너무 환경이 어려워서 힘들다 이런 사람도 많아요. And from among you, there are many who are saying, "Oh, my environment is so difficult that it's very hard." 뭐 특히 또 레몬들은 환경이 너무 어렵다 이런 레몬들 많을 겁니다. And especially our remnants are thinking that, "Oh, my surroundings are so difficult." 그러나 요셉은 이런 상황이 있습니다. But Joseph was in this kind of situation. 그런데 이거는 얘기가 아니고 역사적으로 있었던 일이기 때문에. So it's very important. This isn't just some story. It happened in history, so it's very important. Ah, 여러분 꼭 참고하셔야 돼. So you must keep in mind. 우리는 가진 것 전혀 없어도 올바른 큰 믿음을 갖고 있어야 돼. Even if there is nothing that we have, we need to have the correct, great faith. 왜냐하면은 크도 틀리면 안 되니까 올바르면서 큰 믿음으로. Even if we have great faith, it can't be incorrect faith. That is what it has to be: the correct, great faith. 그 왜냐하면은 그 그릇이 커야 많이 당길 거 아니에요. And the reason because our vessel must be large for you to place many things in it. 요셉이 그랬습니다. But Joseph was like that. 요셉은 노예로 가기 전에 요셉이 했던 기도와 꿈다 나오죠. That even before Joseph was taken as a slave, we see Joseph's prayer and dream everything. 요셉은 그 올바른 큰 믿음을 갖고 있어요. And that's why Joseph had this correct, great faith. 그리고 요셉은 이 축복을 누리고 있음을 불신자가 보고 알았어요. And we saw that Joseph was enjoying the blessing of the throne, and an unbeliever recognized that. 요의 신 이렇게 감동나 처음 봤다라고 얘기했잖아요. He said, "I've never seen anyone in whom is the spirit of God." 또 요셉은 아주 아주 그막 응답도 왔지만은. And also for Joseph, not only did answers come. 어려운 아주 불가능한 순간들을 많이 만났어요. There are many impossible or many difficult moments. 자, 그러고는 많은 응답들을 받았죠. And also he received many answers. 자, 그러면 큰 믿음이 뭐 어떤 겁니까? Then what do we mean by great faith? 꼭 기억해야 됩니다. You must remember. 요셉은 이미 많은 사람들이 성공하려고 하죠. Then already for Joseph, we see that many people try to succeed. 어, 많은 사람들이 막 이, 형들도 막 그, 많은 이 축복을 받으려고 합니다. That his brothers were always striving for blessings. 여러분들은 꼭 기억해야 됩니다. And so you must remember. 성공 어, 반드시 해야 되겠죠. Yes, of course we should succeed. 
이런 정도는 배설물입니다. But these kind of things are just rubbish. 요셉이 여기에 달랐습니다. This was what was different about Joseph. 요셉이 형들은 이걸 최고로 봤습니다. Because Joseph's brother saw this as the greatest thing. 이런 거를 그냥 막 배설물로 봤습니다. But Joseph considered these kind of things like rubbish. 바울도 세계 움직인 바울은 사람들이 말하는 성공은 Even Paul, who moved the world, the success of the people in this world we're talking about, he considered that to be rubbish. And so remnants, you need to succeed to this extent. And so, yes, you succeed, but that success is just rubbish. Have that. We saw that the common factor among the seven remnants is that they all had this. It's not that we shouldn't succeed, we rightfully should. We can earn lots of money, but that's really nothing. That's the kind of spiritual power and skill that we must possess. So you must remember. If you have this answer, you'll have two characteristics. The many things that are arising right now are not all that important, and you see something else that's very important. That was Joseph. How can you enjoy the blessing of the throne? Then how can you enjoy the blessing of the throne? 이 여러분 굉장히 아, 열심히 내가 해야 된다라고 생각하고. And some people think they have to work very diligently. 물론 열심히 해야죠. And yes, of course we should work diligently. 그런 게 아닙니다. But it's not about that. 반드시 여러분은 세 가지 종말을 봐야 돼. That you must absolutely see three ends. 반드시 Absolutely, there is your personal end. And also the end of the age. And so Joseph saw this. And so he saw, oh, what kind of age Egypt was facing. And also there is the end of the earth. 근데 이거는 지구 종말만 나중에 봐도 되지만은 개인 종말, 시대 종말 항상 볼수 있어. At the end of the age, you can look at that later on, but you must always view your personal and the end of the age. 어떻게든 뭐 지구 종말 이거는 뭐 나도도 뭐 오는 거니까 그때 가서 뭐 하면 되지만은 지금 살아가는 이두 가지가 굉장히 중요해. And once in the end of the age, that's going to come later on, and so it's going to come anyway, so you can just wait for that. But you must always look at your personal end and the end of the age. 요셉은 이걸 본 겁니다. Joseph saw this, the end of the age. 아 지금 에그 우리나라가 어떻다? 에그비에 다들 본 거예요. He saw, oh, what is our nation like? What is Egypt like? 그리고 요셉은 이걸 본 겁니다. And Joseph also saw this, the first point. 형들이 말하는 거, 그 성공 아닌데 형들은 성공이라고 생각했어요. And the things that his brothers were talking about, it's not success, but his brothers considered that to be success. 그렇지 크지 않습니까? And so his vessel was large. 왜 이걸 해야 되는 거니까? 이걸 하다 보면은. That why must you do this as you do that your eyes to view the problems, conflicts, and crises change? But those who can't see those things when a problem comes, they get lost in that problem. And those who don't know that when a conflict comes, they get lost in that conflict. And then when they face a crisis, they perish. It's always been that way. But those who know them and pray, they can see these kinds of things. The answer, renewal. That he realized he's not going as a slave, he was on his way to Egypt. That he wasn't going to prison, he realized he was leaving part of his house and entering into a bigger world. And when he met the king, he realized that the door had opened for world evangelization. Opportunity. And so if you look at these three things, you can tell to what extent this person is going to be used by God and how many answers they will receive. Because 
And no matter how proper a person is, it doesn't really matter because if they're not going to see these things, then they cannot properly be used by God. Even for the church, whether this church will be used by God or not, you can tell by looking at these three things. The churches that are not going to be used by God when a problem comes, almost as if they were waiting for that problem, they get completely lost in that problem. They tell everyone about that problem. And no one even asks them, and yet they keep talking about it and imprint it in everyone else. They're not even looking for the answer to the problem. They're completely talking about the problem, and they set their nature in that and become rooted in it. And especially this is the multi-ethnic age, and so our multi-ethnic groups must listen to this. That you can receive this blessing, the blessing of the throne. 그렇죠. Isn't that so? And those who know that will receive this blessing. That when we say great faith, it means that you can truly enter into God's covenant. That it's not merely the covenant, but entering into the covenant. That it's not merely the blessing of the throne. The blessing of the throne exists, but you are in that blessing, and that blessing comes in you. That you meet such difficult situations. But at this time, God gives to you the answer of absoluteness. That there is the absolute plan. You're looking for that. That you're in such a terrible situation, look for the absolute answer. And if you start this way, the answers will just roll in. When I first planted my church, I had nothing, and so this is what I uncovered. Uh, there are many large churches in Korea, but I can't copy them or follow after them. That's the road to destruction. That's what I realized. Then why would I do something that's going to that's going to be destroyed in the end? I won't do that. That do it exactly the way it's in the Bible. And exactly what's in the Bible, what started from Mark's room and went all the way to Rome. And so I saw what was absolute. And in order to see that, there is something you must see when times are hard. That we see in Genesis chapter 50, what Joseph said at the very end. That for many people, when they when they face very difficult situations, they don't see the absolute plan. They give up. They succeed, but then they give up. Why? Because the moment comes when it, they can't go on anymore. But we saw that Joseph said something very important in Genesis 50. That Joseph spoke about things that would take place once he leaves this earth. That he knew what comes after success and what comes after he leaves this earth. And so church, all the church officers pray. That once you leave this earth and head to heaven, leave behind your footsteps here on this church. And so that's what Joseph, Joseph spoke about in Genesis 50. He really was outstanding. That we'll speak about that later. That it might be difficult for others, but this is a little bit easy for me. And this is how I received many answers. And what's really difficult, and I really feel sorry for the people that don't understand these words. Because I know it very evidently, they will give up in the end. Not that they give up, but they're bound to give up. 
And so those listening to the message today, place this in your heart and transmit it to the next generation. Your goal is not success. It's what comes after. And so teach them that. And so remnant, your blessings do not belong to this world. Those things you rightfully will have. We have the blessing of the throne. You must teach them. Always have this. Hardships will come. Impossible moments will come. But that's not the issue. What is God's absolute answer? Then what is the absolute plan? You'll find that. That once you uncover that, you can see the absolute journey. Absolute covenant. And you must see the absolute covenant in order to travel the absolute journey. And in advance, you'll see the absolute covenant. And Joseph, it was world evangelization. He even saw the sun bowing down to him. Then that's it. It's important. There's a need for you to really check this again. For some people, when they don't know this and they face a conflict, then what's really inside of them pops out. Then it's going to make it worse. Your own things are coming out, and it's not a good thing. Rather, it's these three things. Those first three things cannot come out. Rather, it's your own things that pop out. There's no choice but to be that way. And then when you face the crisis, you fail. Those who are probably the covenant, they will live in the face of crises, and those who do not have the covenant, they will die in the face of crises. Noah, who had the covenant, he lived because of the flood, and everyone else who did not have the covenant died because of the flood. And so it's always been the same way. I have a clear conscience regarding this. Why? Because this is my faith. And so nothing is a problem. Why? Because I have the answer. Yes, there are many conflicts, but I can resolve them in just five minutes. Renew. That all you need to do is renew. Then crises are opportunities. That's why the seven remnants could give thanks in the midst of these situations. You can't force yourself to give thanks, but you can give thanks because you've now uncovered this. Then from this point on, three things come. What's the first? The evangelist's eyes open. What do you mean by the evangelist's eyes? You can see what others cannot see. The invisible things. Simply put, others can't see, but you can. That's the evangelist's eyes. And and you must enjoy the evangelist's answer, but the evangelist's answer lies on the opposite side. And then many people say that you have to face it full on, but yes, you do need to do that, but the real answers lie behind the scenes. That it is in the unseen place. If you think about it, it's the invisible things that's talking about what we're looking for, but it's in the invisible places. That Joseph's brothers thought he was crazy, but no one ever imagined that the seed of the governor of Egypt was prepared for him. That right now, you are right now in this place looking for answers, and you can pretty much estimate what's going to happen in the future, but it's more, it's greater than that.
유서는 따로 있습니다. And so the evangelist, those who have the evangelist eyes, they can see the evangelist answer, but yeah. there is a separate evangelist inheritance. 이게 뭔 거니까? 세상에서는 못 주는 겁니다. And that's a thing that the world cannot give. 이런 세계화의 눈을 딱 갖고 있어. And so they had the eyes of globalization. 자 여러분 항상 기억하고 지금부터 기도하세요. And so always remember this and starting now pray about this. 누구도 그, 그, 걱정하지 말고 기도하세요. And so don't worry about anything else, just pray. 여러분 뭐 걱정 많이 하고 이러면 자꾸 이게 병듭니다. That if you keep on worrying, you'll make yourself sick. So don't do that. 그리고 뭐 사람 누구나 병들지만 그래도. 어, 하나님께 영광 가리우는 병 자꾸도 고생하다 죽으면 안 되잖아요. Of course, everyone gets sick, but we can't keep suffering from diseases that hide God's glory. 자, 이세 가지를 보세요. And so take a look at these three things. 요셉은 현실을 못본게 아니라 현실을 정확하게 봤어요. It's not that Joseph did not see the present reality; he accurately saw the present reality. 아주 중요한 두 가지 현실. And so it's a very important two present realities. 형들과 기성세대 못 보는 거. He saw what the adult generation and his brothers could not see. 그렇죠. Isn't that so? 중요한 거. More importantly, 에그베 가서 그 사람들이 못 보는 걸 봤어. Going to Egypt, he saw what the people there could not see. 정확한 현실을 봤어. That he saw the accurate reality. 그러니 내가 뭐 해야 될까 나오죠. And so he found what he needed to do. 사실과 진실이다. That he saw the facts and the truth. 보디발의 아내와 보디발은 굉장히 힘든 삶을 살고 있는 것을 요셉은 봤어요. Joseph saw how difficult the life Potiphar and his Potiphar's wife were living. 그렇죠. Isn't that so? 어, 요셉이 감옥 속으로 갑니다. And Joseph goes to prison. 진실이 뭔지 알기 때문에 그렇습니다. It's because he knew what the truth was. 실제 진실은 요셉이 감옥 속 가는 게 훨씬 나아요. And the truth is 나왔어요. that it's better off if Joseph goes to prison because he can leave part of his home. 드디어 여기서 뭘 봅니까? And ultimately, what does he see here? 영적인 사실을 다. He see the spiritual facts. 항상 이렇게 보면 현실을 정확하게 봤으면요. 이건 따라오는 거고 영적 사실을 보고 난 뒤에 하나님의 계획이 보여요. It's always like this. Once you can see the present reality, then you see the facts and truth, and what follows the spiritual facts, and then God's plan. 노예로 팔려가는 거 절대 계획입니다. Being sold as a slave, that was God's absolute plan. 감옥 속하는 거 절대 계획입니다. Going to prison, that was the absolute plan. 왕 장관이 요셉 잊어버렸어 절대 계획입니다. That the government official forgot about Joseph, that was the absolute plan. 총리 됩니다. He becomes governor. 절대 계획입니다. That's the absolute plan. 형들이 나중에 만나서 And later on, when his brothers meet him, they're so surprised, and they tell him. At that time, he speaks about this God's plan, God's absolute plan. And these words sound difficult, but they're not. But these words sound difficult, but they're not. But these words sound difficult, but they're not. 제가 보기 불쌍해요. 그 신앙생활 하는 거 아니거든. But not understand these words. The world churches are saying that living the walk of faith. I feel sorry for them. That's not the walk of faith. 난리 났습니다. That it really isn't up for. 또좀안 되는 게는 문 닫고 되는 게는 뭐 부흥신 경쟁이 돼 가지고 보면 난리요. And the churches that are not working, they're closing the doors. The churches that say that things are working a little bit, they're competing right now for church revival and growth. It really isn't up for. 뭐 유튜브 숫자도 막 속이고요. They're talking about how many subscribers they have on YouTube. 유튜브요. 돈 주면 얼마죠 올리니까. And you know, you give money to YouTube and you can raise those subscribers. 그런 짓을 어제 사람 많이 미워해 가라 오만. They're doing those kind of things, deluding people. It's so sad. But all that is failure. And the churches will not work that way. And so it's your opportunity. Even though we don't do great things, let's have the correct church that God wants. Keep that in mind. That I will walk the evangelist path that God desires. And make that resolution today and this week. And pray about that until the next core message and see what kind of answers come. Confirm that. That we're not being stubborn. We're not talking about the law. We're talking about only the gospel. And so elders, make that resolution. I am in this church. 목사님을 향해서 성경에 있는 올바른 전도자의 길을 가겠다. That I will travel the correct path of the evangelist that's in the Bible for the sake of this church and my pastor. 그렇지 말라고 하면 이세 가지가 
참고될 겁니다. That once you set that in your heart, you remember these three things. 지금 많은 사람들이 자꾸 잡고 있는 그 성공은 성공이 아니고 배설 물이다 이 말이에요. That right now the people who are being destroyed, what they keep on holding on to, is not success. It's rubbish. 많은 사람들이 열심히 돼서 뭔가 해보려고 하는데. 아닙니다. 시대를 봐야 돼. That many people are working so hard and diligently trying to achieve something, but no, you have to see this age. 그러다가 포기합니다. And that's why they give up. 아닙니다. 우리는. No, that's not it for us. 우리 하나님의 절대 계획이 뭔가를 알고 있어. That we know what is God's absolute plan. 그게 보이기 시작하죠. Then you begin to see those rest. 그러면 완전히 벗어 눈에 안 보이는 장소에 다 있. And then look at it. It's in the invisible place. That's where it all lies. 노예로 간 것은 경제 공부하러 간 거. That when he went as a slave, he was studying 그렇죠? economy. Isn't that so? 감옥 간 것은 정치 공부를. And going to prison, he was studying politics. 여러분 아시다시피 왕 앞에 간 것은 사명을 가 다하기 위해서 간 겁니다. As you well know, when he stood before the king, it was to carry out his mission. 총리가 된 것은 총리가 아니고. And when he became governor, it's not for the sake of for the sake of becoming governor. It was for missions. And so he had this kind of answer. And so the real answers lie on the opposite side. So start now. Whenever you face a problem, just think, what kind of chance is God giving to me? That I've been a pastor for the past 40 years, and there are churches that are facing saving so many things with problems. Just wait and see. Just wait, and you'll find all the answers. That things that are not the covenant, things that are not the gospel, they won't work. Even if you leave just one person behind, really enjoy the answer of that age. That's the answer of the Bible. 자 드디어 중요한 전도자의 세계를 보는 유산 남깁니다. Ultimately, you see how you can you can see the world as evangelist and evangelist inheritance. 창세기 오십 장 일절에서 이십 절을 보면은 중요한 게 나오죠. We see something very important from Genesis fifty one through twenty. 형들이 고민하는 거와 요셉의 답이 나옵니다. Then we see what his brothers, Joseph's brothers, are worried about, and Joseph's answer. 형들이 이제 야곱이 죽었단 말이에요. Now Jacob had died. 그러니 요셉이 너무 슬퍼하고 이제 아버지가 돌아가셨는데 그걸 하는 걸할 그때에 형들이 이제 겁을 먹은 겁니다. And Joseph was so sad he was lamenting over his father, but his brothers began to worry. 지금까지 아버지 때문에 총리가 지금 참았다. Until now, the governor was just holding himself back because of the sake of his father. But now he's weeping over him. That weeping is not your average cry. Now we're all going to die in the mighty hands of Joseph, the governor. And so then his brothers come to beg for their lives before Joseph. And the answer that Joseph said, it's recorded here. 형님들은 나를 해하려고 했지만은 하나님은 나에게 선으로 갚으셨습니다. It says you intended to harm me, but God intended it for good. 50장 21절 22 21절에는 중요한 얘기 나오죠. Also Genesis 50 verse 21 to 22. 뭐라고 얘기해? What does he say here? 형님들의 후도 후손 후대 후손을 책임지겠습니다. That I will provide for you and your children. 그 얘기를 했어요. He spoke to them about that. 이사 창세기 오십 장 이십이 절 이십육 절에 중요한 얘기를 또 했습니다. And also important words in Genesis fifty verse twenty to twenty six. 예언을 한 겁니다. He gives a prophecy. 가나안 땅에 들어가게 될 겁니다. That you will enter Canaan. 이스라엘 민족은 다 가나안 땅으로 돌아가게 될 겁니다. That all the Israelites will return to Canaan. 그 예언을 하고 그때에 제 유골도 가져가 달라. Then he gives that prophecy and says, "When you go, take my bones from this place." 이게 요셉의 미래까지 본 기도입니다. That this was Joseph's prayer that even saw into the future. 자 여러분들 이제는요 
지금부터 무조건 세상 바꾸는 눈을 떠라. And so starting now, unconditionally open your eyes to change the world. 바꾸는 눈을 떠라. Open your eyes to change the church. 신장 바꾸는 눈을 떠라. And open your eyes to change the field. 가문을 바꾸는 눈을 떠라. Remnants, open your eyes to change your family line. 중직자, 현장 바꾸는 눈을 떠라. All of our church officers, open your eyes to change the field. 다 속고 있습니다. 고통 나고 있습니다. 그들을 살려서 바꿔버려. All the field is suffering, and they are being deceived, and so you must save them and change the field. It's a short thing. And so I usually don't say things about this or that, and people think that's strange, but that's not it. It's not that I don't say anything about that, I'm just waiting. Because God's accurate answer exists. So I wait for that. So starting now, all of you just prayed this prayer. Unbelievers' goals is success. And they can even lie for success. They can even frame someone for success. And they can even harm others. And they can even kill others for the sake of success. But that's all rubbish to us. Remember that. That we are the children of God who are going to save the world. We are the ones to receive the blessing of the throne. That we know and believe in our personal end, the end of this earth, but we know what is the end of this age and we know what we must do and what is the throne's role in that. That God has an absolute plan. So don't fear any or every situation. At this time, three, these three answers come. Those three follow. And so our ten foundations of faith always become our conclusion. I begin from nobody. That is our first foundation. Isn't that so? Not that we don't want anyone's help, but we start from nobody. And this is always going to be our foundation or footstool. It's okay even if you have nothing because that is the start. Why? Because it's from here that we can see the accurate things. That's it, the start. From here we see the accurate start. Going all the way to number 10, what do we see at the end? That the absolute things of God. And so number 1 and number 10 is important. Then beginning with nobody, that means the start is important. 다른 사람 얘기하면 안 되니까 내 얘기를 하자면 우리는 영도에서 시작할 때 이걸로 시작. I can't talk about anybody else, so I'm just gonna tell you what I did when I first began in Yongdo. I started from here. Nobody. 절대로 큰 교회들 따라하면 안 된다. And don't copy what the big churches are doing. 틀린 거다. It's wrong. 많은 영화 배우들 모였다고 해서 교회 되는 거 아니다. And the church isn't going to work because you have many celebrities in your congregation. 어마어마한 재벌들이 모였어요. 돈 내서 교회 어마어마히 지나 가보니까. They have great heads of the conglomerates in their churches and they give all this money to build these great churches. But when I went to see, I think it's wrong. I don't think that that's what God wants. There were some churches because they're great wealth, they're fighting over that. I had assurance that that wasn't it. We must begin here from nobody. It's okay even if we have nothing. Why? Because in these invisible places, these kinds of blessings are prepared. And we're looking for that. Don't lose hold of this. And starting today, for the next week, pray this prayer. Let us pray. God, may you open up our eyes anew and give us new strength and power. 중요한 것으로 시작하는 참된 성공자들이 되게 좋습니다. Let us be the true, truly successful that begin with your start. 보좌의 축복을 가진 자가 되게 좋습니다. Help us to be the ones with the blessing of the throne. 지금부터 하나님의 절대 계획을 보는 전도자가 되게 좋습니다. And start now, help us become the evangelists that see your absolute plan. 예수 그리스도 이름으로 기도합니다. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen.